Greetings fellow backpackers. My name is Naturally Caffeinated and I just finished a northbound hike uh, this year of the Pacific Crest Trail um, using the Yama Mountain Gear Seraform Single Wall. Um, and I wanted to give you just a quick couple of thoughts about this tent. Um, I stayed in this tent for almost the entire trip. I had only a few nights uh, camping under the stars. Um, I like the feeling of having some netting between me and bugs and the ventilation was uh, good enough that I did not uh, have issues even camping in the desert. A um, little bit about me, um, I sleep in a six foot six inch sleeping bag. I like wider sleeping bags as well. Um, I used either a torso length closed cell foam mat similar to what I'm sitting on now um, or a long length inflatable air mat um, similar to a thermarest. Um, what I liked most about this was flexibility. Um, I used this in everything from 22 degrees in snow to 110 degrees in the desert. Um, I camped on top of high ridge lines and down in valley floors. Um, it handled condensation as well, if not better, uh, than most all tents that I've tried. Um, and with proper camping habits and ways to minimize um, having issues in the first place um, by setting it up properly, guying it out, letting the air flow, and not sleeping too hot, um, I found that this was an excellent and very versatile tent for all the different types of terrain and weather that I found uh, while doing that hike. Um, so let me show you this a little bit closer up. Uh, let's see here. What we've got is, like I said, the Yama Mountain Gear Sierra Form Singer Wall. Now his tents do not come with a logo on them. Uh, this is a prototype that was lent to me for my hike. Um, so when you receive a tent, uh, it will not have that. It will look like this. Uh, nice and clean. <clears throat> Jen goes through and actually tapes the seams instead of sewing them. So you have an extremely clean line all the way throughout and nothing on the tent that's hit that's on the rain side has any stitch lines that could leak through when he stitches the mesh netting to the inside he stitches it to a small piece of Cuban tape and then tapes it to the inside wall so there's actually no stitching going on at all so this is one solid piece of waterproof material all the way over the top of the tent so there's no seam sealing that you need to do when you get the tent it's ready just the way it is um, I utilized the stock guy lines. I made no changes to the tent whatsoever. I used it exactly as it was given to me, and I found that it works just fine. This is stock line locks. I was able to quickly tension it uh, under any conditions that I needed to. Um, I left the bathtub floor tensioners uh, on the lower setting. There's also a way where if you have to set the tent up very low, you don't have a lot of ground cover, you can pull it up through and you can set it on a higher one. I never found that I needed to do that. I enjoyed having the extra bathtub space. Uh, if the days were too warm and I was not worried about bugs, I simply utilized a setup similar to what you see here right now. Um, I would roll back the mesh door, roll back the front vestibule sides, and simply sleep uh, with this. If there were a few mosquitoes buzzing around, I'd simply use a head net. I found that that was a great way to I'll get maximum ventilation when bugs were not an issue. If I wanted a more traditional setup, what I would simply do is go ahead and utilize the mesh door. And in utilizing the door, um, usually that alone was enough, even on most uh, windy, cool evenings, was generally enough that I didn't need uh, a vestibule. That this mesh can keep a little bit of breeze out. Not enough that I found it to be restrictive, but enough that there is a noticeable difference inside the tent versus outside. So that's one thing to consider instead of a, a true tarp setup, when you actually have a sewn in bathtub floor, and in this case, a taped in one, um, that having an enclosed space, even if it is mostly netting, um, is going to get, keep you warmer. So you can keep that in consideration when uh, thinking about sleeping bag warmths. I used a 30 degree long length quilt, down quilt the whole trip um, in all temperatures uh, and did just fine with it. I adjusted my uh, fleece hats and buff accordingly if I needed more warmth or less. 
uh, and slept either in just running shorts or base layers or synthetic down jacket whatever I needed at the moment uh, depending upon how cold the temperatures were and, and the season that I was hiking through. Um, I did change up gear through the seasons as I needed cooler or warmer gear. Um, I also utilized the whole trip uh, this lightweight Cuban bag. Um, what, I, what I found is that a nice bag, uh, anything similar to a, uh, maybe 55 liter or smaller, 65 liter or smaller bag will fit without really any effort at all vertically up under the side vestibule um, allowing me one whole side to enter and exit the tent without needing to make any changes um, to have something under over cover if it was going to be raining. Um, this also can unravel and be staked out here at the front similar to the main guy line and what that allows you to do is deploy one vestibule uh, if you prefer um, you don't have to use both at the same time. You can use just one. Uh, I did this many nights where I just wanted something just in case it started to get breezy or a little damp. And that worked great. And I would leave this vestibule open for more airflow and so I could look out and see some stars. Uh, and I enjoyed that. Another nice thing about here that really worked well was being able to ha have uh, excellent ventilation um, through the back. I was able to get good airflow without feeling like uh, my feet were getting cold. So that helped decrease any condensation issues through the back end of the tent. Um, what was also nice that I utilized on a nightly basis was the ability to have some storage space inside the tent. And what that was, was I would store things like my headlamp, my glasses, wallet, everything that I needed in the two side pockets, have them up off the bathtub floor. Um, I slept with pretty much all my gear, either in my bag at night or inside my tent. Um, and this had plenty of room where I could lay uh, wet socks from the day out beside me and just let them air. Um, I could change my gear, change clothes. Um, I'm six foot one and I can comfortably go ahead and actually sit up fully in this tent without having to bend over at all right on my bed. Uh, I can change, I can do my morning stretches. Um, I had no issue being in the front of the tent. Now this is a difference from a side entry tent uh, in that the, the maximum height for this style of tent is going to be right at the front of the door where I'm sitting now. Um, as you start to go farther back, obviously this roof will start to uh, get shallower. Um, what I did find, however, is even with that, there was enough length along the roof for me to bend my knees up to my waist and do my stretches uh, without needing to stop. So for me, that was an excellent benefit. Um, this kept out blowing wind, hail, sleet. The mesh netting on all sides of the tent allowed for Excellent cross ventilation when setting up on windy peaks. Um, and I didn't have any issues uh, keeping the tent uh, tidy with the extra space on both sides that I could fit whatever I needed in, fit and put my food bag up here, keep track of it. I also utilized four of the Yama stuff sacks, Cuban stuff sacks. This is actually all of my medical supplies and gear repair supplies, as well as things like extra lighter, a couple of small sunscreen wipes, um, medications, um, tape, all that kind of stuff. Um, backup earphone, earplugs, and I always have earplugs. And then Cuban bags to store uh, the rest of the gear. So this worked out well for me, and hopefully if you're considering a versatile, um, long-length tent that has a very compact footprint but excellent internal space, um, I hope you consider mountain, uh, Yama Mountain Gear uh, when you're looking at tents. I was very pleased with it and I would definitely use it again. Thanks!